the dark secrets of the witch's Sabbath. In the shadows of history, one of the most terrifying and sinister legends has persisted through the ages, the legend of the witch's Sabbath. Tonight, we delve into the dark secrets of this macabre gathering, where witches and the devil himself are said to convene in unholy communion. Brace yourselves, for what you are about to hear is not for the faint of heart. During the height of the witch hunts in Europe, a chilling belief took hold that witches would gather under the cover of night in remote, desolate places. These gatherings, known as Sabbaths, were described in grim detail by those who claimed to have witnessed them or participated under duress. According to the confessions extracted during the infamous witch trials, the Sabbaths were nights of blasphemy and terror. Witches were said to renounce their faith in God, pledge their souls to the devil, and partake in diabolical rituals. The Sabbat was believed to be a grand assembly of witches from far and wide, convening to worship their dark master. The journey to the Sabbat was as terrifying as the gathering itself. Witches were said to fly through the night on broomsticks, pitchforks, or even the backs of demonic creatures. The destination was always a secluded, eerie location, a lonely hilltop, a dense forest, or an abandoned ruin. As the witches arrived, the Sabbat would begin with a grotesque dance around a roaring fire. The air would be thick with the stench of burning herbs and the sound of ghastly chants. It was believed that the devil himself would appear, often in the form of a great black goat or a monstrous figure, to preside over the rituals kneeling before the devil. The witches would swear their allegiance, kiss his hand or even his hindquarters, and receive their instructions. These instructions were to spread chaos, sickness, and misfortune among the innocent. The devil would then bestow upon them the power to cast deadly curses and summon malevolent spirits. The Sabbath would then descend into a nightmarish feast. Tales speak of witches dining on human flesh, drinking blood, and consuming unholy concoctions prepared in cauldrons. This gruesome banquet was believed to symbolize their total submission to the forces of darkness. As the night wore on, the witches would engage in dark ceremonies and spells. These rites were intended to invoke evil spirits and curse their enemies. The power of these rituals was said to be heightened by the presence of the devil, who watched over them with a sinister grin. But not all who attended the Sabbath did so willingly. Many of the accused witches during the trials claimed they were forced to attend, their confessions extracted under the brutal tortures of the witch hunters. These confessions painted a horrifying picture, blending truth with the fevered imagination of the time. The fear of the witch's sabbat fueled the witch hunts that spread like wildfire across Europe. Innocent people, often women, were accused, tortured, and executed in the most horrific ways. The very mention of a Sabbath was enough to seal their fate. Today, the legend of the witch's Sabbath remains a chilling reminder of the dark corners of human belief and the horrors that can arise from fear and superstition. Whether these gatherings were real or the product of a collective nightmare, the terror they inspired is undeniable. So, dear viewers, as you ponder the legend of the witch's Sabbath, ask yourself, could such dark rituals have truly taken place? Or were they merely the fevered imaginings of a world gripped by fear? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more tales of terror from Wicked Haunts. Stay vigilant and remember, some legends never die. Until next time, stay haunted.